हेलो एवरीवन गुड इवनिंग नमस्कार एग्रीकल्चर अड्डा 24/7 पर मैं मीनाक्षी राठी आप सभी का बहुत बहुत स्वागत करती हूँ तो आज का हमारा टॉपिक है प्रिवेंशन इन फूड अडल्ट्रेशन वॉट इज दिस एक्ट इज अबाउट ओके सो वी विल स्टडी दिस एक्ट इन अ लिटिल बिट मोर डिटेल्स बट बिफोर दैट इफ यू हैव एन डाउनलोड द एप गो इन द प्ले स्टोर टाइप ए डबल डी ए टू फोर सेवन एंड डाउनलोड द एप दिस ऐप हैज वेरियस फीचर्स करंट अफेयर्स जॉब अलर्ट्स क्विजेज एंड पावर कैप्सूल्स सो इट्स अ लाइक होल ऑशन ऑफ द नॉलेज एंड ऑफकोर्स फ्री ऑफ कोर्स सो गो एंड डाउनलोड द ऐप नाउ इफ यू आर विजिटिंग द चैनल फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम डू लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब एंड लेट्स टॉक अबाउट टूडेज सेशन सो टूडेज सेशन इज अबाउट your prevention act what this act is about what this act says okay so there is much of the adulterated products in the market we see day to day life right because of the human needs or we say human greeds uh, maximum of the products are adulterated adulterated with different products which are cheaper or they have all different kind of conditions that will be discussing in your prevention adulteration act and due to which the government had to take this step that we need to regularize this otherwise people are adding more and more adulterants towards the products and consumer is not getting the quality he is paying for for this concern the government thought and uh, food adulteration and prevention act came so the prevention act came in 1954 okay so in short it is known as a pfa okay short mein isko hum kya kehte hain pfa kehte hain your food adulteration act 1954 right so uh, the full form will be the prevention of adulteration act 1954 two are the main objective one is to avoid food adulteration so that food is not adulterated and it should not uh, uh, give the negative effects of on the consumer's health and consumer gets the quality he is paying off okay so consumer gets the good quality of food and to avoid the food adulteration this act came in 1954 right so under this act they say a product is adulterated if ek product ko adulterated product kab kaha jayega if these conditions the mentioned conditions are fulfilled right the first condition is the article sold by the vendor is not to the nature substance or quality if you find that the quality of the substance is not up to the mark or the nature of the substance is not up to the mark which you are paying off that comes into adulteration like if i take the example if uh, i am a, a vendor making sweets and uh, while making the sweets i am just heating it more than it was required it is more its color has been changed or its consistency has been changed that means it is a adulterated product right then second is if the article is inferior or cheaper substance has been substituted if you are eating uh if you are adding substitute towards the product which is cheaper than the product okay so if you are adding water in the milk water is of course cheaper than the milk right if you are adding uh, your uh, chicory seeds in the coffee and the chicory seeds are uh, of course they have lesser price than the coffee ones so if you are adding them to your substance they are adulterated so any substance which have lower price value is adding you are adding that to your substance right that is called adulteration right next is any constituent to article has been wholly or partially abstracted if something has been extracted or abstracted from the article like spices different spices right so different spices if you are taking out oil from them and then you are selling the spice because the essential oils were the soul of that spice which had you have a voice problem 
Anyone else is facing the voice problem? Anyone kindly reply if you have a voice problem. Where is the help? And even kindly reply if you are facing the same problem with the voice or not. Voice. So can you hear me? Voice is coming. Okay, so I think it has been corrected now, let us start with the next uh, step. The next step is articles has been prepared, packed or kept under insanitary condition. If you are producing an article that is up to the good quality, you are not adding uh, any cheaper substance to it, you are not abstracting anything from it, but you are keeping it in unhygienic conditions, you are contaminating the food then also it is called as adulteration. If you are not giving uh, up to the mark hygiene in the handling packaging of the product that comes under your adulteration, right? Then article consists wholly or in part filthy, rotten or decomposed or diseased substances. Okay, if you are adding any kharab apple in the apple lot or any uh, kharab banana in the uh, banana lot, that comes into adulteration. Any of the part or whole which is rotten, which is diseased and you are adding that part to the food article that is called as an adulteration. What else the adulterants are? The article is obtained from diseased animal, okay, like your bird flu, and a bird flu came and if you are eating the meat from a bird which, uh, which was suffering from bird flu or if you are eating a swine or pork from a, a swine flu affected uh, pig, right, so that comes into adulteration. Anything you are eating which is of animal origin and animal was diseased, that comes into food adulteration, right? Next is the article contains any poisonous substance, any kind of toxin, any kind of poison, either it is produced by contaminants or it is produced, uh, naturally produced in the food. If it contains any poisonous, any toxic substance, it comes into adulteration because of course it will hamper the health of the consumer. Any coloring agent, preservation, uh, preservative, perm, uh, which is not permitted, any additive, preservative or any coloring agent, which is not listed by FSSAI or which is not recommended by SS, uh, FSSAI or you are adding the prescribed one but in the higher dose, okay. So that also comes in adulteration. If you are using anything, any additive, any preservative which has not been classified or identified for, by FSI, that will come into adulteration. Wo bhi aapka adulteration mein count hoga. So that is the 
uh, term adulteration. Okay, so these are the different condition when your food will be counted as adulterated food. So because of the all the health concern related to the public health, so government thought of making this act and under this act. The central government made a committee named as Central Committee for Food Standards. This Central Committee of Food Standards advises central government and state government both on the matters of arising about the administration of this act. Anything happens, the food uh, Central Food Committee will see to it and fix it. So this is the committee which is responsible for your PFA Act. Anything happens under this act is taken care by the Central Committee of Food Standards. So that's all. This is the whole story of your PFA Act. It came in 1954, right? So uh, do remember this thing also. And guys, if you want to join under 24-7 for your preparation, you can join it. Just uh, visit www.adda247.com or if you have the downloaded app, you can enroll kar sakte hai. So this is the batch for uh, Food Safety Officer under Telangana Service Public Commission. And uh, you will have to pay 2760 rupees as the enrollment fees on this batch if you are using the code Y448. And if you guys are preparing for FCI Food Corporation of India, batch for AG2 and uh, AG3, Phase 1, Phase 2, complete batches are also available. You can enroll in these batches, right? How to enroll in these batches, I'll let you know. But first, if you like the session, put a like button and share it with your friends so that knowledge and uh, happiness spreads by sharing, right? So how to enroll in the batches? You just open your Google, type under 24-7 and this is how your site looks like. Okay, now here go to all courses and uh, or you can directly search from here your choices, right? So you will T-S-P-C-S-F-A-O. Uh, uh, you will type this and put an enter button. You will get this. Uh, test series and your live batch okay your live batch will be there and your uh, test series will be there and uh, all of the preparation of all the subjects either it's your food chemistry food processing uh, food microbiology seed laws are all are going to be covered here right so just uh, like if you want to go for the test series also you just need to put the Click button here and here buy now. Jesse, you will click on the buy now button. A window pops in up and here you will get an coupon code enter. So in this, uh, this bar, okay, you have to add Y44 and so that this is reduced to a level. Okay. So there's some technical problem in this, but you can use the code Y448 for your batch also, for your test series also. For the test series, you need to add S here, okay? Y448S. So S is for test series and if you are uh, enrolling in the batches, just Y448, you need to add it. So this will be reduced to 22%. Generally, it comes with 15% or 17%. But uh, your test series are having extra uh, off uh, these days. So you can buy the test series if you have, uh, you want to practice the questions. These are the mock tests related to your exam only, exam oriented. And you can, you'll find them helpful for your examination. Okay. So that's all for today. We'll meet you in the next session. Tab tak kere. Goodbye. Take care. And keep watching. Keep reading and keep practicing.